Hey everyone, it's Kyle here, and I'd like to welcome you to my 4Sensor Line Follower tutorial. Alright, so a few weeks ago I published a 3Sensor Line Follower video, and of course someone had to comment on that video, can you do a 4Sensor Line Follower video? And yeah, I can, and so I will. This video is really just for fun, because the 4Sensor Line Follower doesn't have much of an application anywhere. But this is just a kind of like an experiment to see what happens. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Here's the robot that we're going to be using. It's a modified version of Sirius with two additional color sensors on the front. We're using the existing sensors that we normally use for line squaring, which are plugged into ports 1 and 2 as the emergency sensors. The middle two sensors that are slightly in the front are going to be used for normal line following, and they're in ports 3 and 4. So here's the program I've made for our four sensor line follower. And it's really just a combination of the programs from the three sensor line follower over here and the program from the two sensor proportional line follower over here. I'll start with this part. Uh, this is the emergency sensor check from the three sensor line follower I taught you how to make a few weeks ago where it just checks the two outside sensors and if it sees the black line it's going to make a sharp turn. Over here this is the normal line following part where in the three sensor line follower this used a regular single sensor proportional line follower but now I've replaced this with the two sensor proportional line follower which I've also showed you how to make in another video and this is just like as the name implies a proportional line follower shared between two different sensors this program literally took me 30 seconds to make because I opened up my three sensor line following program from a few weeks ago and deleted the beginning part which had the normal proportional line follower then opened up my old two sensor program and copied that back into here. So control C and control V are going to be your best friends for this program. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about how this works because I already have tutorials that teach you how to make each part of this program and I don't want to be too redundant. Let's see how our four sensor line follower performs. So now that you've seen the four sensor line follower, what are the practical applications? Pretty much nothing. Um, this is just, like I said, it's a just for fun kind of video. I guess the most important application is that it demonstrates the principle of diminishing returns. How as we keep adding more and more sensors, the gain in performance you see is negligible. Because um, of course adding four sensors is not going to make your line follower four times better than a single sensor line follower. But this is kind of just a, a fun, just see, see what happens with four sensors kind of thing. And of course you can't use this line follower for FLL because at this point you're using all of these sensor ports for just line following. And a first LEGO League Mac doesn't have like extreme lines that you'd need to follow, all kinds of crazy diverse curves, lines, and whatnot. So for FLL, a one sensor, or even in some extreme cases a two sensor, will perfectly suit your needs. This four sensor follower is really only for people who are doing specialized line following challenges and I know I get asked about them from time to time. I'm kind of afraid that this is going to become some kind of meme. Like I've seen other YouTube channels who get like caught in this cycle of like viewers like, yeah do more of this, like now somebody's going to comment on this video, do five sensor line follower or something like that and eventually I'm going to do, do something like absurd like 20 sensor line follower. I mean I, I have multiplexers which allow me to like plug in multiple sensors into one port and I should stop there because I think I'm giving you guys too many ideas by now. Thanks for checking out my video this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, leave it in the comments section below. Thank you and I'll see you next time.